Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Modded Gungeon. We are jumping in again and of course, of course, of course, why not? We play the Swindler once again. I'm just enjoying this character a ton and I want to keep playing them. Um, I, I think they're a little bit bugged at the minute in their uh, pricing and their rerolls, but we're going to take advantage of that to create an absolutely busted run. Although there is also the possibility that the... Um, Wow, three keys, so useful to me. Unless I actually start with the money that those three keys should have given me, that was useless. Um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see what we end up starting with here. Because, um, yeah, I, I, the, the, the mod might have been updated between me watching the Alexa video that just went out and this, but it was bugged in his video still, so fingers crossed it's still bugged. <laughs> Although I think it should be fixed. But also the bug is fun, so bit of this, bit of that. You know, um, we unfortunately... Wait. So, if you have... If you've noticed, we did actually get the three keys. Which this character isn't meant to be able to hold keys. So I'm not exactly sure what that's going to mean for us. Um, that could create some interesting consequences, I suppose. That could create some interesting happenings. I wonder what's going to happen when I try to use... When I try to open a, cr a chest, my guess is it's going to use a key and cost 40. That would be my guess. Let's find out, shall we? It did not use a key. Okay. I was incorrect. So, I guess we could maybe use these if we come across the key uh, shop guy. Otherwise, I think they're pretty useless. I think they're just decorative otherwise. But yes, still absolutely loving the Swindler. He is my sweet, sweet baby. My sweet, sweet child. I will constantly play as this pig boy. It just, the ability to see more stuff and use shops more efficiently, it's just a really fun idea to me and I want to take advantage of it. Uh, we haven't unfortunately found any sacks yet, which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, but when we do, we'll, we'll, we'll try and visually see them with our eyes, because... Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, Alexa is physically incapable of that, and it is both hilarious and frustrating to watch. Oh, he's doing his best, poor lad. He's a good guy, but <laughs> his eyes don't work so well. It's really funny as well, because like they, they start, the bags start blinking as they're about to disappear, and he always sees them as they start blinking when he's at like the other side of the room. It's it's a good watch. If you aren't watching Alexa's playthrough of Modded Gungeon already, uh, go and check it out. It's a lot of fun. I would recommend. Oh, always make sure... Oh, I did actually get hit there, but I got the sack, so it's fine. Uh, but always make sure to come back here, though, of course. Oh, so now we picked up a key. Our keys have disappeared again. Uh, I, I'm going to hold off on that chest because I would rather... Um, I would rather check my shop first, especially if the barter glitch is still active and I can get some crazy items for sale. So we'll see. We'll see how much uh, how much money we can end up getting before the shop here. Or oh, like it just in general on this floor. Not a whole ton so far, unfortunately. It's, it's a good amount, but I was hoping for more sacks. We got a little bit unlucky with that. Um, so we, we got a whole lot of nothing here. He has fixed it. Okay, okay. We got the Laundry Material Rifle, which sounds fun, and also the Charge Shot. I'm going to buy this because it sounds interesting. Um, it is literally a washing machine. This washing machine was stolen from the long-lost communal washroom in the Breach for use as a gun within the Gungeon. Contains several uh, prized artifacts, such as the Winchester's Lucky Shorts. Interesting. It's a shotgun, so... Like, my prediction for this is either it just shoots a bunch of different things that are sprited differently, or it shoots a bunch of different projectiles that each have a different effect. Based on the pricing, I'm going to guess it can apply some status effects or something along those lines. But if it, even if it doesn't, if it's just visual, I'm not going to be displeased. Because this is still a cool idea. It seems really good. Like it seems really good. It doesn't seem to apply status effects, but visually, it, it's basically like a more souped-up T-shirt cannon. And I like that. T-shirt cannon is actually a weapon that I, I highly respect, and I think people 
People don't uh, utilize it enough. Ooh, we haven't done this in a long time, so let's go for this. I don't know how good this is going to end up being for the boss, just because it's a very close range shotgun. We got a sack there. Yeah, I was about to say, there's absolutely no way I'm getting it, though. It landed in a really bad spot. Unfortunately, this weapon is just dog shit against bosses. This thing's pretty good. It's a little bit hard to use. I Honestly, I have a feeling I'm going to get hit on this boss. I'm going to blank that. I don't, I don't often blank this boss, but that was a, a special occasion. I'm going to try and use this when I can. I think the problem with this thing is the shot speed is just ridiculous on it. It, like, the laser that you're meant to be able to deal damage with, you just have almost no time to actually utilize. It's a little bit of a shame. Oh, I, I really love the fact that we just absolutely cluttered the floor with all of this crap. Um, we got ourselves this, which I can't remember what this does. Um... Increased damage the more glass one sends a hell. I'm pretty sure it gives you one per floor as well, if I remember correctly. Um, let's give this one more reroll and see what we get. Alchemizer, I'll buy that. I saw uh, Alexa use that in one of his episodes recently, and it seemed pretty fun. Um, didn't we have a chest we didn't open in one of these rooms? Or did I open them both? Am I just dumb? This one broke somehow. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember doing that. But also, I might have done that. <laughs> I can't remember. That was very plausibly me. And I can't remember if it was or not. Um, let's try this thing out. Okay, unfortunately, it does have a very small mag, so to start off with, this thing is going to be mildly useless. Well, it's not, I wouldn't say useless as such, but it's just not going to be great. Right. It's just not going to be great. Good, good, good. Going down to the tree floor because we can get an extra chest on this floor, which I think makes our uh, money pretty valuable. I don't actually know how much the locks cost. I think they're 20 each. Yeah. So actually, interestingly enough, it's cheaper to go to the alt floors as this character. Because normally it would be two keys, which even if you buy them on the first floor, I think are 25 each. So you're still saving 10 casings. But in regards to how much it costs to open a chest, it's 40 to open a chest or one key. But it's two keys to enter or 40 for both locks. You're getting like half price kind of in a roundabout way. Pretty interesting. Um, it might be more worthwhile to go to the alt floors as this character than I initially... Oh, I, I completely forgot I was doing this. Um, so the floor's very blue, as you can see. Uh, that is because we enabled the, the, the something in the depths. Uh, modify or whatever you want to call it. Basically, what that'll do is some enemies, I believe, will have some alternate attacks, but for the most part, it will just make it so that enemies leave these blue orbs behind when they die or move. And those blue orbs, they, um... They can deal damage to me, um, and also I can't roll through them. So I have to be quite careful about how I play around them. I'm not sure if it's intentional or not, but the idea of making the whole floor blue makes the um, the whole process of being able to dodge these shots a little bit difficult because they are kind of hard to see. Oh, also, getting sacks is going to be a nightmare. Um, let's not waste ammo on these guys. Yeah, getting sacks is going to be a nightmare because normally we just go to wherever the enemy died and pick up the sack. But now there's a bunch of blue orbs that are going to hang around after the enemy dies. It's going to make it exceedingly difficult to grab the sacks. So if I miss a few here and there... Uh, don't blame me. There was one right here that I did miss, which is unfortunate. Um, let's try the Alchemizer out. So basically this thing, it fires out two potions um, and then a slug. The only problem with it is it's is it's got a very set range. Meaning that like the... From what I understand, the potions don't like explode when they hit an enemy. They explode after a set distance, which makes it really awkward to use. But for a good reason, because it does it does contain 
quite a powerful shot. So you see that I'll uh, apply one of these custom effects. And then you can see Pyre there, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we're getting hit here. These blue shots will last way too long. And it's a good way, like right now. Um, Yeah, Pyre, I think it's called, is basically like a detonation effect. Dude, dude, dude get, get the fuck away from me. What are you doing? What are you? Oh my lord, get off my balls. And then it fires a bullet at the end. I'll be honest, I have no idea why. It's kind of like the icebreaker in that way, but I, I don't really know what the bullet's for. I'm guessing it's to like activate the pyre effect. I, I just simply can't get through there. I just gotta wait. Pretty decent. If you can get the distance right, it's kind of like the, um... can't remember what the shotgun's called now. You know the shotgun. You know the one. I really think these blue orbs should immediately disappear when the room is cleared. I think that would be quite a nice quality of life thing. Might make him too easy, I don't know. I am severely hating the weaponry we have right now. All of it sucks big bum cheeks. Like, the shotgun is by far the best thing we have. Like, the laundry shotgun's decent, but honestly, in these rooms for these enemies, it's just not doing enough. I'd like to get to that, please. Any day now. Thanks. Yeah, like, the laundry thing's okay, but it's just, its range is really bad and it spreads really bad. Honestly, I think this shotgun's the best thing we got. And the Alchemizer, it's fun and it's interesting. It's, it's kind of difficult to use, especially under pressure when enemies are pushing close. If I have them at a set distance and can keep them that way, it's actually not that bad at all. But... Under a situation... Oh, God, I hate... Hate this. Holy fuck. Under the situation of having a lot of enemies pushing towards us, it's kind of useless. Like, right now, it's good. If I can do that, and then he explodes. This was not the flaw to have this effect on, was it? Bollocks, there's so many more enemies. Balls. Go away. I think it's just because it's blue on blue. I, I'm, I'm hardly seeing any of these enemies. Look at that sack. For, okay, for one, that sack disappeared almost instantly then. I'm not quite sure why that was. But I, I, it's just sat under a bullet. I can't do anything about grabbing it. It's a bullet I can't even roll over. It's just... Ugh. This is not a good combination. I'll be disabling the, the blue boy effect promptly, because I am... It's a cool challenge. I Don't get me wrong, I like it, but... For this character, on this floor, it was not a good idea for me to, to activate this effect at all. I mean, I'm taking way too much damage already, so... Just dumb. The sheer amount of blue blood, bloody bullshit that you're laying about is annoying me. It's too much. A sack. Eh! Why are my sacks disappearing so fast? That was way quicker than normal. Is there, like the time scale on this floor like really fucked or something? That's nice. Litchy eye bullets helps. Well, this is like these red t shirts that, that spew blood now. This doesn't seem to be doing anything different. Can I see which guns have synergies? No, I cannot. I guess I'll use this blood wash now. 
Oh, I'm getting hit here. I'm penned in. Okay, I can stack blood up on enemies. That's nice. Yeah, why the fuck are my sacks disappearing in like 0.1 of a second? But they weren't doing that on the first floor. I like the blood wash, although I'm very nearly out of ammo with it, so I can only like it for a tiny bit more. And then I've got a battle of the boss on pretty low ammo. It's going to be a tragedy, I think. I don't think it's going to go well. Why isn't the blood not stacking up now? Okay, that time it stacked up on you. Oh, it's out of ammo already. Fuck me. I doubt the, the starter shotgun has any synergies. Glitchy eyeballs is very, very good, but it, it kind of relies on you having guns that work with it. We don't currently have that. Oh my god. It, it really makes it apparent how hard this floor is when um, in my money back, son of a bitch. How hard this floor is. Oh my fucking life. When you put all these blue bullshit bastards everywhere. Fuck you, you stupid spider, little chubby cunt. God damn, get out of my face. Fuck you. This is way too hard. God damn it. These blue bald bastards. The, the reward for this better be fucking amazing. It's, that's all I'm saying. If I do all of this and I get like meager rewards from it, I'm gonna cry. I just, I can't move. <laughs> just disappear the blue orbs when the enemy dies or something. Cause I'm stuck back here right now. There ain't much I can do about it, especially considering I don't have range. Like as a normal character with a normal gun, this might be okay. But with the limited range I have, the incredibly limited range I have, it's just, it's just sheer pain. What are you two doing in here? What on earth? There's so many of you. Oh wait, no. I think I think it's just I think it's just two. But I think he teleported. Can I have some ammo, please? Do the enemies have more health when they're like this glowing blue? I don't know if it's just that this weapon is just not dealing good damage or what, but it feels like things are taking forever to die. Again, I gotta wait my turn to leave the room. Ugh, this is not going well. Why? Why have I got no ammo and why do the weapons that I have ammo for kind of suck? Also, this is not good at all. Yeah, this is... This is fucking... No, this is a sack of fucking baby sick. What is this? Get out of here, you. Get back over here, you Tyrannosaurus cunt. My lord. Ugh! It's not even a real shop. What the fuck are you doing here? My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Uh, Alright. This is gonna be hell. I do not have the weaponry to do this. At all. Also, it is very hard to see what's going on. I'm going to try and use this thing. What in the fuck was that? I I very much predicted incredibly swift death to this. I don't even know what this enemy is doing. I'm so confused. Are all of you enemies? What are all of you? What are all these little things outside? Okay. I I can't even fucking see the enemies. This was the worst. <laughs> I got through it and I got the 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 something or other. 
The Space of Fancy. And we got ammo! Baby. I think I need it for my blood cannon, maybe. Right, what the hell does this thing do? A cheaply made sidearm from the far-flung solar system. Becomes stronger each time its slinger basks in the light of glorious commerce. I don't know what that means. Oh look, a chest we can't possibly afford. Ugh. I mean, it's stunning them. I like that. Doesn't seem like it's going to be a, a good boss killer, I'll be honest. Still hit me. Fuck's sake. There's a sack, but it disappears in point one of a second for some bullshit reason. What's this about? I'm so angry. Everything is broken, and I'm crying. Fuck you, you beaked penis. I'm gonna die to falling in a pit. You watch. Get out of here, you sausage. There's more? Why? Why does there have to be more? What are you doing? The, the vibe of the music here is really just not fitting my current attitude at all. <laughs> oh look, another chest I can't possibly afford. Fuck you. Thank you for the help. Right, I'll leave the other chest in case I get enough money, but it's doubtful. This is gonna go so bad. I don't even know where you've gone. Okay, there you are. Why can't you bleed her? What's wrong with you, Gun? Just bleed her like you did the other things. Oh my god. Why? Why wouldn't she bleed? Why wouldn't she bleed? What's that about? I don't understand. My feeble brain can't comprehend what's going on. Wow. We did it. I've unlocked this thing. Get me out of this fucking hellscape. <laughs> Going to this floor was the worst mistake of my entire life. <laughs> that was, in a word, fucking dreadful. <laughs> Poor Lee Dan. That was just... Whoa. I don't even know what to say. I don't ever want to experience what I just experienced again. Yeah, what's the deal with this thing? Why does it bleed some enemies and just not bleed others? There you go. That, it bled him just fine. What's the deal here? Is there some sort of... There's no description for it because it's a synergy. Is there some sort of specific thing I ought to be doing? Also, I've just realized, why is my fire delay not enabled here? It definitely should be. Um, there you go. Do they have to like step into the blood to apply bleed? Let me figure that this out. You, you flies, you don't count, go away. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just random. 
I mean, you, you just have got bled on you when it hit you. I don't just, I don't know. Maybe it only works on certain enemy types or something. You got bled just fine. No fucking items or guns in the shop. But First of all, you steal a shop from me. For one of those goddamn blue hole shops that... With honestly only one messed around and limited item choices, I just don't really care to purchase anything from. Right. Can't believe it. I just don't understand what constitutes supplying bleed. I feel like it's really obvious and I'm just missing something. And Nevername's gonna be in the comments section like, Hey Bozo, you're a fucking idiot. Like he always is. But I, it doesn't seem obvious at all right now. Very much wanna kill this dude. Good, good. Crack this bad boy. Portable sewer grate. Can't remember what that does. Does it let us sell stuff on the fly? Curse the player to see you into the ground. No, it's not. The, I, I always forget what this is. We get to seep into the ground. It basically just makes our player model super, super tiny. It's it's kind of meh. This thing still has no ammo. Oh, God. This run has just been a disappointment thus far. Glitchy Eye Bullets has done next to nothing for me. It's given me a wildly inconsistent blood synergy. And I, I, I'm not even sure if this gun regularly stuns or not. If it, if it doesn't, the stun synergy for this thing is amazing. If it does, it's... I, I can't tell what, what else the synergy would be, so... I'm gonna be, pretend it is the stun and be happy with my choices. Yeah, that grey is just not good. <laughs> Isn't much point to using it. We get drawn with a synergy. Who'd have thought? This thing better slap. It slows. That's good. Unfortunately, the fire rate slash damage of it is pretty abysmal. Try out this thing. We can get the perfect range on her. Oh no, no we can't. Apparently if that hits the water, it just vanishes into nothingness, so... Don't matter, I guess. Back to old reliable. This has just been a very, very so-so run. I'm enjoying it a very medium amount. It all started when I took the blue goo. The blue goo was not worth it, even remotely. Although I did get an unlock out of it. I will say that the unlock is something I respect. Right, this thing's doing okay. I feel like this is more of a room clearer though.
Right, we got ya. Do you want to give me another ammo? How many have I got right now? Have I got two or three? Okay, I've only got two. Um, oh, that's just the chaos ammo. It's just being resprayed. Interesting. Right. If my next shot is an absolutely stonking, I'm going to cry. Again. This run has been somewhat of a slap in the face. Somewhat of a slap in the face. And I don't even know what to say. I've been added in my Discord. Ah, some new person has joined. Uh, one second. Da, 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 da. Um. Oh, right, okay. Doesn't matter. It's just someone asking about some modded stuff. A Risk of Rain 2. Which I'm enjoying a lot, by the way. I've just recorded an episode before this. It is very fun. I highly implore you to go check it out. The modded, modded Risk of Rain... It's really hectic, and it's quite quite different of an experience to the regular Risk of Rain 2. And it, it can get a bit laggy at times, but overall it's a lot of fun. Okay, this thing seems decent. It seems decent enough. Lovely. Oh, hello. The slowing is kind of nice here. I suppose that's going to be pretty good now. Don't light me on fire, please. Wow. First sack in a thousand years, thank you. Can I have some fucking ammo? I've been, so, like, without ammo for my guns in so long, and my guns suck. My guns suck so much ass. <laughs> this thing is just genuinely just awful. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very cool gun, but it does like me. Very low damage. It's pretty good on big groups like that. Why are my sacks disappearing so fast? I also have been hit here. That's rather annoying. Whatever the hell this is. Soulbound Skull. A skull of lead wrapped in old... Uh, it seems to absorb souls to only um, shortly release them. Killing enemies... Um, killing enemies or at a chance after damaging an enemy creates a wisp that hones in on enemies. If the wisp hurts an enemy, it reduces your active item to kill... That's pretty good. Nice. Okay. That sounds pretty dope. I'm just trying to use this thing because it's like something. But yeah, it just needs like way, way less bullet speed to be useful. Like it's it's doing okay damage to Bulletkin. Like it's not terrible on Bulletkin. I actually got a sack for once. Wow. Why did I take ammo for this? That was such an awful idea. That was such a horrendously bad idea. There's so many more worthy contenders for ammo. Right, you better give me a red chest. I have a synergy for this gun? How? What synergy is it? <laughs> is that a thing? I did not know that was a thing. Did a modder make a synergy for this gun for some reason? That'd be weird. Ah, probably missed with both of them. This gun seems fine. It doesn't inspire a lot of hope, but it's it is what it is. 
Ugh, this, this run, this run has made my body feel bad. I don't know what to say, it just has. It freezes, which is nice. The extra soul shots, I have to say, don't seem all that. Like, it, it seem fine, but they don't seem to be very good at herming onto enemies, really. Oh, no, there you go, that one did. They're getting there, they're getting there. There's a bit of Skrilla. Just, just, just walked right on into both of those shots. An impressive feat of just being stupid. I really wish that, like, I could see what the synergies do. Did you know? It would be a redonkulous amount of effort. And I, I have to say, even now saying it, I don't even know if it'd be worth the amount of effort it would take. But god damn would I love a third page on out of these two that just had the synergies and your your current synergies that you have show up. God damn would that just be just so, so top tier. It would be an immense amount of effort, but oh my god, would it make my life so much easier. And this game, more enjoyable to play, especially modded, because you can actually find out what your modded synergies are doing. But the problem would be that not only would someone have to actually make the mod, someone would then have to go and put in all the vanilla synergies, and then each individual modder would have to put in all of their individual synergies from their mod. Which I imagine, considering a lot of modders already don't bother putting their descriptions in item tips, probably not going to be a whole lot of them that want to put their uh, put their synergies in that mod. Unless it can just somehow rip them from the mod files, but I, I honestly doubt that. But that would be something that I would, I would be super, super happy if ever came came about that's like a quality of life thing that i feel is i i feel it's something that base gungeon should have had to be honest i don't even care anymore just keep hitting me i don't i just don't give a shit <laughs> this run is just i'm so past it i'm so like done with this run that you can just eat my soul and i'll be fine with it Just, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I am mentally drained by this run. I just, I don't know if I want to continue. This has been just horrendous. <laughs> just die, like, my guns just, just aren't interesting. The, the washing room one that I got is decent. Um, like, visually, it's it's fucking awesome visually. But I gotta say, at the end of the day, it's just kind of a, a shotgun with cool visuals. Um, and redonkulous spread. Oh, God. I'm so glad that's over. I'll be honest, that run... That run was just the worst. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that one bit. Oh, God. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.